back to a full day of eating. Today we are eating to feel good for summer, lose a little bit of fat, tone up. So Operation Hot Girl Summer slash Healthy Version is well underway. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, go check them out because I have explained exactly what I'm doing to feel my best for summer and all the steps that I'm taking. Today we are doing a full day of eating because I'm going to show you exactly what I'm eating. Calories are still, I think, the same as the last video that I did. We are aiming for 1735 calories, 170 grams of carbohydrates, 140 protein and 55 grams of fat. Today we are tracking all of my food on my app Elevate. If you haven't seen or heard what Elevate is, then get to know. So Elevate is a workout and recipe app and it is so easy to track your food on it. I've literally tracked my entire day. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put a screenshot up here now so it's easier for you to see. So to kickstart the day, I've already tracked my breakfast. So I'm having a kind of breakfast quiche. I've had this support, it's so good. It's where you basically use like a tortilla wrap, fill it with like eggs, eggs white, whatever else you want. So I'm using turkey bacon cheese. It's honestly like the best thing ever and it's so filling because there is 37 grams of protein in it. And then as we go throughout the day, I'll show you what else I've got planned, but I have already planned my whole day because the key to staying on track guys when you're tracking your calories is to plan your day so you know exactly what you're gonna eat, when you can eat, how you can fit in your fave snacks and all that stuff. Okay, so let's get into it. We are starting the day, or the first meal of the day, with a breakfast quiche. There is my breakfast quiche for 423 calories and over 37 grams of protein. I took it out of the little tin. Look, it's just so cute. This is honestly like the best thing. And it's perfect for meal prep as well, like a breakfast on the go, because you could literally cook that the night before or you could chuck it in the oven in the morning and then just place it in a container and cut it up and just eat it at your desk at work. So yeah, eating healthy or high protein does not have to be boring. Okay, it's now 11.56. I have just been working away at my desk. I'm gonna have a snack on the way to the gym. So this is ooh, my protein cherry bakewell layer bar. It's absolutely chef's kiss. Like literally this is the best protein bar I think I've ever tried in my entire life. And I'm not even joking. Like <laughs> it's good. Guys, look at this. It actually tastes like a cherry bakewell bar. Mmm. So I'm literally just about to go to the gym. We have got upper body day today. So in today's workout, I am doing back and biceps. That'd be fun. This is my outfit. It is Fabletic, so this is the sports bra. How cute, I just love this top. I think it's just the nicest thing. And then these shorts as well, which are just super comfy. Woo, gym session done, feeling good. It is now two o'clock. It's a little bit of a later gym session for me today, but that's okay. As soon as I get home, I'll just make some lunch and then get back to work. And that's pretty much what I do. Like most days I have lunch a little bit later and it kind of shortens my window of eating. So I don't feel so hungry because when you're in a calorie deficit, it's really important to be like smart about when you eat. One of the things that I try to do as well is like have my breakfast a little bit later. So I tend to have my breakfast around nine, half nine ish. And then I'll just feel like fuller throughout the day and when you're in a calorie deficit it's obviously what you want like you don't want to be hungry because nobody likes to be hungry so yeah that's what i tend to do so my lunch is also later and then obviously my dinner is also a little bit later but yeah we will get home and lunch is really exciting guys like i haven't had this in so long and i am looking forward to it because i've got a different type of pasta and i know that sounds a little bit ridiculous but i don't know i feel like different types of pastas taste different i don't know let me know what you think back from the gym i literally just got changed into some comfies ellen clo of course 
I am so excited, guys, for drop two of Ellen Chloe. If you didn't know, we are releasing new colors, new styles, new things. You guys better watch out because this next shop is gonna be just incredible. I'm obsessed. Anyways, back to the food. So this was the pasta that I was going on about. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Yiggly? I'm not sure. But it looks really good, doesn't it? So this is the pasta that I'm going to be having. And today for lunch, we're gonna be making a chicken pesto pasta with peas, feta, all the good stuff. So these are the ingredients. I have got 130 grams of diced chicken breast. We've got some reduced fat. Salad cheese, this is basically like feta, but obviously cheaper. I'm gonna be seasoning the chicken with garlic, salt, and paprika. And then I've got this pasta from Morrison's. I'm gonna be using 55 grams of that. Then I've got some reduced fat, basil pesto, and of course some peas. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is just season the chicken with the garlic, salt, and paprika. Then fry it off in a pan. We're gonna boil 55 grams of the dried pasta in salty water. And then once the chicken and the pasta are cooked, we're gonna combine it over a low heat and mix together with the cooked peas. So I've already tracked this meal on Elevate app and it's saying that it is 425 calories, 42 grams of protein, 46 grams of carb and nine grams of fat. So it's a really well balanced meal. I will also put a screenshot here and then obviously you guys can see exactly how I've tracked it. <laughs> There we go, there is my chicken pesto pasta, 425 calories and 42 grams of protein. Delish. And that's all done. Guys, I added ketchup to it because I am a ketchup fan. I don't know about you, but I have ketchup with everything, including pasta. And I don't know if that's weird. It's just something that I've always done. But anyways, I'm feeling quite full. And one of my top tips when you're dieting, if you're feeling quite hungry, make sure that you're eating enough fruit and vegetables because vegetables are full of like fiber and they're gonna keep you nice and full. And obviously they're good for you. So yeah, make sure that you are eating your veg. But anyways, I am now gonna just get on with some work because it's three o'clock and then I'll probably have a little bit of a snack later and then we'll make some dinner. Okay, I don't know who I was kidding and thinking that I would have lunch and then not have something sweet after. Guys, my sweet tooth is actually crazy. Like I have something savory and then I need something sweet. I don't know. Um, so what I'm having is a pack of these party rings tracked on Elevate really easily. 83 calories a bag. So good as like a little tasty snack. And these are just the cutest little things ever. Like how cute is that? A little mini party ring. Mm. Good evening guys. So it's now half past six and I am ready for my dinner. We are cooking a homemade chicken Caesar salad. I'm excited for this one because I've got a few different kind of additions which kind of pimp it up and make it a healthier version because I don't know, I feel like when people go out for food, they always choose a salad if they're on like a health or like fitness journey. And in actual fact, like a salad is not actually always the best option, especially if it comes with like a big dressing and usually it's Caesar salads are full of calories. Who would have thought of it? So by making a few simple swaps, you can actually make them relatively low calorie, also high protein, so it's gonna keep you full and still super tasty. So these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. Okay, so to make my Caesar salad, I add in these tomatoes. These are the best ones. They're like the higher quality ones and they just taste so good. Got some Parmesan shavings, some lettuce. This is a game changer. It is a reduced fat Caesar dressing. This is vital. We have some chicken. I've got 130 grams. I've also got two bacon medallions there. I'm gonna fry it all off together with some Italian herbs. And then we have these Rye Vita Thins in cheese flavor. These are absolutely unreal. 29 calories per one and they just taste so good.
do once the salad is prepared, minus the dressing, is I take two of these ribitas and then I crush them up on top so they're almost like crispy croutons, but cheesy, which is just so yummy. There we are, there is my chicken Caesar salad. So good, and how quick did that take to make, guys? Like, so easy, and this is so perfect for meal prepping for your lunches the following day. So this meal was tracked on Elevate, and it has 317 calories and 47 grams of protein. Delish. And that is dinner eaten this is now seven o'clock guys i am literally gonna jump in the shower then just head over right over there and sit on the sofa i am so tired when i sit on the sofa i'm gonna have one of these protein yogurts i love these the blueberry flavor is just so delish and then i also mix in a low calorie jelly just for volume it tastes good don't knock it and you can always add in like some frozen berries on top or even like some peanut butter biscoff whatever you fancy See. But total calories for today. I actually need to add in the yogurt. Let's see. Okay, so total calories for today. I've gone over by 57, but that's fine. Carbohydrates 156, fats 50, and protein 172. So we've gone over by 57 calories, but it's fine. We've got 1,792 calories. All tracks on Elevate so easily. And as you can see, like if you pre-plan all of your food in the morning, especially when you're trying to feel good for something or you know get a bit leaner, lose fat, whatever, it just helps so much because planning in the morning will enable you to know like how much of each item you are to have in each meal because i feel like when people start tracking their macros and their calories they just have no idea like of portion sizes so this is why it's like so important to plan it in the morning and then you know it's all done for you it's so easy today was so stress-free i just knew what i was having and when and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed all of the meals that i cooked i'll make sure to put all of the ingredients recipes macros calories below just so that you've got it obviously remember that these calories are personalized to my body and my goals like everyone's bodies are different and just because these calories work for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you and also remember like i am eating a small calorie deficit which is why they are slightly lower than like kind of diet the last two weeks were so off track for me guys like so off track because i had my birthday and my birthday was over like two weeks <laughs> i had like social events like for two weeks i don't know and it was just so hard to stay on track so this week is the first week where i'm getting back onto it i actually stepped on the scales this morning and i've gone up by like i think it was two or three pounds which is nothing i haven't lost any progress i still feel great i think by the end of this week i'll probably be back on track to where i was pre-birthday which is good so yeah make sure you give this video a like subscribe to my channel make sure if you haven't downloaded my app elevate that you do because it is the best app for meal planning meal inspiration you get a library of home workouts which i've recorded for you we do lots of fun challenges and and it's just like super easy to find out your macros and your calories and also like just to track your food and stay on track with reaching your goals. So thanks so much for joining guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again at the same time next week. Bye bye. <laughs>